Greetings everyone, it's Mike Wardinsky here, and I've got a real quick video to show you how to customize the Lightroom nameplate. But before we do that, don't forget to check out naturemike.com for some great articles, in-field workshops, and private post-processing lessons. Okay, let's get started. Changing the nameplate is one of the easiest things you can do in Lightroom. We're just gonna go up to the Lightroom Classic icon here, and we're gonna go to Identity Plate Setup. And by default, we're set to Lightroom Classic. I could change it to my Adobe ID, or I can come down here to Personalize. Personalize will allow me to type anything I want into this box. So I'll go ahead and type in Mike Wardinsky, and maybe I'll put my website in here. Okay, so there it is. You can see it showed up right here, but it's looking a little small. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of this and I'll increase the size, maybe to 18. We could probably even go up to 24. Uh, maybe, let's do 20. And I can come in here and I can change the font to anything that's already installed on my system. I'm just gonna come up here to Absolute. Actually, that's not the one I wanted. Let's do Adequate. There we go, that looks a lot better. And it's set to Extra Light. I don't have any settings in this font, so I will have to keep it there. And now looking over on the right hand side, I could also change the font of my settings up top. And even more importantly, I can change the color. So if I wanna know which one of these is selected, I can come down to this first icon here and we'll go ahead and click our color wheel. And maybe I want my selected module to be blue. And I could also change the unselected colors as well just by clicking here and I could change that to any color I want. And you can see it changes in real time. I'm just gonna leave that set to white. And I'm gonna hit okay. So that's it, with just a few seconds, you can have your own customized Lightroom interface. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you'd like, and I'll see you in the next video.